a turbulent week for a man revered by many. But he has kept silence in the wake of damning revelations. Sunday's church service in an auditorium he built was to create a platform for him to break a dead long silence. Awaiting congregants without a shred of doubt, many were anxiously waiting for Reverend Victor Kusibwaten to break his silence. The selection of songs, whether by default or design, spoke to the conscience of every single person who attended the Power Chapel Church today. You are the fall of Natalie Grant in Christ alone perhaps created a certain effect. The CEO of the Confanoji Teaching Hospital, Professor Otre Adey Mensah, perhaps set the tone. I'm sure many of us have heard some allegations that have been made against our father, the Reverend Victor Kusibuating. As difficult as it is, under these circumstances, the best is to leave the established institutions of state to deal with the issue. Incidentally, the case has been reported to Shraj, and I'm certain that Shraj would write to him if they haven't written and give our father the opportunity to tell his side of the story. Whilst it is okay for us to give him every support, and indeed that is what we are supposed to do, the best kind of support we can give him is not about posting on Facebook, it's not about insulting people. It's not about casting insinuations. Then mounted the pulpit, the man at the center of controversy. A lot of you were excited when you see your father up there, always happy. Papa is up there, Papa is up there. But when you are up there and you are fighting up there, then some of you are crying. How can I go up without fighting the demons in the air? Member of Parliament for North Tong, Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, has been accusing the Secretary to the Board of Trustees of the National Cathedral of conflict of interest in a 2.6 million cities loaned to the Secretariat. He has also been accused of double identity. But in all these, he has said he will remain quiet and allow the laws to take its course. But one thing that he did not shy away from is that word of encouragement to his church members that many are the affliction of man, but God saved him from some of them. And his emphasis was on the sum. But again, he told his congregants that he is well. I promise you I'll go through it honorably. So every one of you should relax, be happy. William Evansinkum, TV3 News, Kumasi.